Hi, I'm Dr. Jason Pegas. I teach cello here at Colorado Mesa University, and I'm here with some tips uh, for the Beethoven and Mendelssohn excerpts for the Colorado All-State Cello Audition. I want to focus on the two excerpts assigned, but make sure that for the scales, you're drawing a smooth bow unaffected by shifting in the left hand and getting a nice full tone throughout. It's very easy to overfocus on the left hand and completely forget about your bow. Speaking of bow use, this section from the Mendelssohn Scherzo can easily cause confusion in practicing. Do not worry about the bow stroke while practicing slower than the real tempo. It will be different because the speed will affect the stroke. So divide the measures into small groups when you practice, working on each group to become faster and feel easier. I recommend keeping the left hand incredibly light and working and anticipating the string crossing with early smooth elbow motion. Don't forget to go for the dynamics and the whimsical character of the piece, and not to mention the coordination of the left and right arms before worrying about the stroke itself. If you use a tiny amount of bow when playing at tempo, the stroke essentially plays itself. The resu result should be something like this. <laughs> This next excerpt is from the second movement of Beethoven's Fifth Symphony. Make sure you listen to this, and more than once. In the real score, there is a bass part underneath the cello melody we have at the beginning. Now you can actually record and play this bass part with a metronome, then try to play the cello part along with your recorded bass part. So challenges with this one include keeping a stable pulse, smoothly traversing the shifts and string crossing, the subito dynamics, and intonation. Keep the beginning of both iterations quite soft so that you can make the fortes pop out. Remember that the first iteration has to be subito, whereas the second has a crescendo into forte, then subito piano. A metronome is also essential for practice, as it's easy to rush this excerpt or play a different tempo between both sections. Lastly, remember that the beginning has a dotted rhythm with 30 seconds. If this becomes lazy and sounds like triplets, uh, it's dangerous, so make sure to keep them very snappy. Here's how I like to play this one. <laughs> If you have any questions or would like a trial lesson with me, you can easily find my contact info through the CMU website. Otherwise, best of luck with your audition and happy practicing.